How on earth is olive oil related to sleep quality? Well, in today's video, I'm going to look at how a particular molecule that can be derived from olive oil known as oleamide may be able to improve sleep quality in humans. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas. I'm the founder of Ergogenic Health, and my mission is to bring you the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So please, if you're brand new here, smash subscribe below, leave a comment and also like the video as it does help with the YouTube algorithms. So ultimately today, what I'm here to look at is how oleamide derived from olive oil may be able to improve sleep quality. And we're gonna take a look at some of the underlying mechanisms and also dosages that people have been using. So first of all, we need to look at what is oleamide. Well, oleamide is also known as cerebrodiene and is an organic compound and the primary amide derived from oleic acid. Now, oleic acid is an omega-9 fatty acid that is derived from olive oil. Now, oleamide was actually first reported in human serum back in 1989. And it also has a rich historical usage back with the traditional Chinese medicine system. Many herbal practitioners were using the Zisiphus fruits or the jujube fruit, which contains uh, oleamide. So what they noted was that this jujube fruit was having a sedative and anxiolytic action. And so further research was warranted. As with most of these herbal extracts, they figure out what are the historical uses and then they you know, want to dive deeper into the underlying mechanisms, which is what I'm here to present today. So further to this, oleamide is actually similar to the bliss molecule known as anandamide. Now, anandamide is actually what's released during or following the runner's high or that sort of bliss feeling that you get following repetitive exercise. It's actually a well-documented phenomenon. If you look up uh, the runner's high phenomenon on PubMed, you'll see a range of pretty cool studies looking at this. So oleamide, its chemical structure is actually very similar to anandamide. And that would probably explain, you know, its beneficial effects on improving sleep quality, reducing anxiety and just making one feel very calm. So let's take a look at the first mechanism of action. Now this study was titled Stereoselective Modulatory Actions of Oleamide on GABA-A Receptors and Voltage-Gated Sodium Channels in Vitro, a putative endogenous ligand for depressant drug sites in CNS. Now, what this study basically noted was that oleamide does potentiate or bind to that GABA-A receptor, which is the same receptor that alcohol binds to, the same receptor that taurine binds to. So we're gonna get that anxiolytic and inhibitory tone or inhibitory response when we use oleamide through our oral form. So keep in mind, guys, that oleamide is bioavailable orally, which is a really big plus. Usually a lot of these cool molecules that are discovered from you know certain foods or other herbs a lot of the time they can be poorly absorbed but oleamide can be absorbed orally which is a good a good thing for human usage so i will be leaving a link to oleamide down below if you want to purchase oleamide you will see a link down below Further to this, let's take a look at another study that sort of noted the hypnotic actions of the fatty acid amide oleamide. Um, now, what they found was that oleamide does appear to possess hypnotic actions and its mechanisms may be related to increasing the amplitude of the currents gated by the 5-HT2A, the 5-HT2C, and the GABA-A receptors. So those two receptors, the 5-HT2A and the 5 HT2C receptors. I'll be exploring a lot more on those further you know, in future videos because they are really important sites to modulate human behavior. So we can see that sort of oleamide can, you know, help to reduce sleep latency. So, um, you know, decrease the time it takes to fall asleep, which is a huge plus. This next study looked at the effect of oleamide on sleep and its relationship to blood pressure, body temperature, and locomotor activity in rats. And what the authors noted was that in rats, oleamide increased slow wave sleep too, without affecting blood pressure and heart rate. In addition, oleamide decreased body temperature and locomotor activity in a dose-dependent manner. 
Now, locomotor activity is actually a feature or one particular marker that authors will look at when assessing, you know, stimulants versus sedatives. And usually, obviously, well, I mean, it makes sense. Stimulants do seem to increase locomotor activity whilst sedatives can dampen that locomotor response. So the sort of hypnotic effects combined with the lowering of body temperature combined with the anxiolytic properties really do make it an exciting candidate to improve sleep. So as a dietary supplement, oleomide can be used at about 100 milligrams about 30 to 45 minutes before bed. Uh, most people appear to get the best response at this dosage range. And I also want to finish off by mentioning these other effects that oleomide can modulate memory formation. And that is really significant because a lot of benzodiazepine drugs and other really powerful pharmaceutical agents can often disrupt uh, memory function and, and affect cognition. So we can see here that uh, in this study, they, the author sort of noted that oleomide facilitates memory extinction in a passive avoidance paradigm reduces core temperature and pain perception but does not significantly affect locomotion so a bit of a contradiction here the previous study looked at the hypo locomotive effects whilst this one here showed that it did not sort of affect locomotion and basically what they looked at was how oleomide can affect the retrieval of short-term memories. So if you enjoyed this video, please do like the video, drop a comment below and share your experiences using oleomide for improving sleep. So thank you for tuning in everyone. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.